So just walk with me here for a minute as we jump inside uh, what the ideal day for me might look like. It's a Saturday, of course. I travel a lot um, during the week, and I'm not home to kind of be there when the mail comes, right? On Saturdays, I'm usually home when the mail comes. So let's just imagine it's 70. I live in Virginia. It's 70. There's a little breeze. And I'm outside in the yard. I'm playing catch with my kids, maybe. And uh, the breeze is just right. There's a little whiff of gummy bear in the air. <laughs> and uh, it's, it's uh, early afternoon. And all is right with the world. Now, a mail truck has a really unusual and cool and unique sound, right? The little truck, and I can hear it from like 15 miles away. <laughs> and it's not like a car, and it's not like a, you know, a big semi that carries the mail on the interstate. I, think of it like this. I've never actually said this out loud, so bear with me. But if like a big mail truck and a little, a little bitty car like went to dinner and then got married and had a little baby, it would be like a little mail truck. <laughs> or it could be a little girl truck, but gee, it's a mail truck. It's not that kind of mail. It's a mail that you like, it's, ma- it's a truck. Right? With that little, the little sound as it kind of hums down the road. So I hear it coming, and my kids look at me because they know the race is on. But if they move first, it's not going to be pretty. We can see the truck come up. It comes from our left, uh, where our home is situated up a little rise in the road. And I look at my kids. Dun, dun. (laughs) Dun, dun. They're looking at me. My boys especially love this game. Truck comes up. We give her a little bit of space. She knows the drill. She opens the door. The mail goes in. She races off. She wants no part of this. There are liability issues, right? I look at my boys, they look at me, bam, I am off to the mailbox. Now, I'm not saying that I would trip my own kid. Who does that? I mean, that's so inappropriate. I mean, the grass is soft anyway, so it's like a, that's not a big deal. I've done it. All right, you got me. I've tripped my kids. My heavens, judgmental. So I get to the mailbox. Now, we have a little metal box with the little, the little metal clasp at the top. And it makes the coolest sound. Am I weird that I like this little... Is that what, will you do that with me? Will you just grab the thing? We're not going to move on until you're all doing it. So grab the little thing. None of you are doing it. Get on, you're not going on the cruise. Grab the thing. You want to go on the cruise, you grab the thing. All right. Do it with me. Ready? You reach your hand in and you pull out a big stack of mail. There are catalogs and credit card bills and credit card offers and delinquency notices from the credit card companies. There's a Stampin' Up! catalog. There's so much cool stuff, right? But then, underneath that Stampin' Up! catalog, there's a little envelope about this big. And you know what? It's an actual letter. It's a letter! Your name hasn't been been typed on the front with a computer. The return address isn't stamped. It hasn't been metered or bulk rate stamped. It's your name written in handwriting, a return address in handwriting, a real letter. Did you know people still do that? (laughs) Yeah. You knew that. Now, uh, if you're like me, Often I read that right there and right then. And it frankly doesn't matter what's happening around me at this point. That is my love affair and romance with handwritten letters. I mean, there could be complete, ma- the, the neighborhood is falling apart. There is massive violence all around me. There's a tornado at the neighbor's home and it's picked the kid up and he's going to be fine. He's just going to take him across town. <laughs> And drop him in a neighbor's yard. And you know what? They've got a bigger yard anyway and a dog, so he's going to be fine. Don't, he's fine, but he's out of the picture. And amid all this mayhem, I'm there with my letter. There is something magical, magical about a handwritten letter, is there not? All right. 
Now, 